help you with?
Catherine Luzion keeps demanding you look into her husband's murder. Hey there, got an update for me? Good, I'll let our techs know everything is in place. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of your Astral Lounge escapades are in. I'm happy to say that the deal was officially called off. Masako was pretty happy about the results, so she arranged for a small bonus through Linden. It won't buy you a new ship, but it's something. My sources tell me it was a train wreck. Once her numbers didn't match up, Arthur was all over her with questions. It didn't take long for her to break composure, and that's when she lost Zola. So, you could say that presentation went perfectly, as far as we're concerned. Hence the bonus. I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Several other parties will be involved in that deal on a more legitimate level. And believe me, bonuses like this for operatives are few and far between. You earned it. So, back to business. In order to stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is unlikely. Correction, you are going to steal from them. Don't forget, if you get caught, Ryujin will deny all knowledge. Oh, we definitely are. But why stay one step ahead when you can just leave the competition in the dust? We reverse engineer their plans, create a superior product, and beat them to market. We make the initial profit with less investment in R&D, and our competition is forced to reevaluate if their product is even viable. Spoken like a true Ryujin employee. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. The Star Yard is a mix of sales floor and manufacturing. If you're looking to blend in, you've definitely got options. It's not too far, in Aquila's orbit, so hopefully your ship's ready. You'll find the Trident Luxury Line Star Yard orbiting Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Remember, same rules apply. Don't get caught and don't make a mess.
can I be of service, Captain? Let me know if I can be of I'm not certain why we're visiting this star well, yard. To it's try doubtful any of us have the credits to afford we these the finest vessels. and most luxurious starships in the galaxy. If you have any questions about our product line, or would like to book a cruise, I'll do my very best to assist you. Now, how may I help you today? We do not sell ships or parts at this location. And it's not like you would have any use for parts or modifications anyway. A Trident ship is already perfect as it is. Is a Trident best in class, top to bottom? No. Clearly no. Deimos has fantastic missile batteries. Stroud Eklund's shields are a thing to behold. But what a trident may lack in those areas. It more than makes up for in style, luxury, and comfort. A cruise on a trident can be a truly life-changing experience. Of course, it's a point of pride to know my employer's products, as well as their strengths and weaknesses. It's a character trait that is extremely valuable. And if I'm being honest, I have my own dreams of going out there one day. It's important to know the pros and cons of each ship, as I'm sure you're well aware. Let me know if I can assist with anything else. Maybe if I save up for a million years. Trident luxury ship was reviewed by mice. What are you? You do it here. Philippe didn't say I should be expecting someone. This is the very heart of Trident, and we don't need strays. Oh, and it tells jokes, too. <sighs> well, I suppose since you're here, enjoy being in the presence of greatness. It's here that I, well, create the next generation of Trident starships. Do random strangers go up to Da Vinci asking about Mona Lisa's smile? Or interrupt Beethoven in the middle of his symphony? No. Ask Gia or Philippe. Oh, yes, I am. I am Gladys Coffin, Chief Architect of Trident. If you have any other questions, make it fast. Listen, if you want to talk about the max safe tonnage of the Astra or other trivia, ask Gia. Me? I design the future. What great new heights we can go to. <laughs> oh my, that's just priceless. Balancing elegance with the strict engineering requirements of spaceship travel. That's not science, it's art. An art I'm particularly skilled at. Am I famous? <laughs> well, my many, many awards and achievements should give you some idea. Oh, why, thank you. Yes, I've recently won my second Grand Nova Award for Excellence. It's a great honor, but after receiving so very many awards and distinctions, they all start to blend together. Yes, I do think I deserve some reward for my considerable virtuosity. I've heard some associates singing the praises of a certain... 
Something hailing from neon. Velocity, I believe it is called. It's some drink or food or something else. I haven't any idea what it actually is, but my curiosity is getting the better of me. You seem to have nothing better to do. Would you care to go fetch me one of these velocities? <laughs> I don't much care which variety you get. And of course you'll be reimbursed. Oh, fantastic. I look forward to seeing what all the excitement's about. In my line of work, one cannot be small-minded. As Trident's chief architect, no, as their premier artiste, I must find inspiration in everything. Back to crafting the future.
lost the person I wanted to see. And we aim to keep it that way. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process. But first, Ulara wants to see you. I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor where her office is. Tell her assistant Maeve, you have an appointment. I won't be far behind, in case you get lost. Confirmed. Ularu is wrapping up a meeting with Genevieve. You can wait here or in the lobby area. I'll let you know when she's ready to see you. I see Imogene Salso is supposed to be with you. I'm right here, Maeve. Good. It should just be a moment. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. Got my eye on you. Is that always your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv, because you're too good at your job. Now, we can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine, but you can break this news to Alexis at her next meeting. Good, you're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments, and one specialized. And on top of all that, a flawless record. It's no wonder they love you up here. I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. He's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. That's exactly the type of operative I want. Someone who doesn't take no for an answer. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. He said it's a game changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So if you have negotiation skills, use them. Simon's been working with us for years, so he'll pose no threat to you. He's paranoid, which is why I assume he's never been caught. But his information is typically worth it. Now in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Jeannie give you the details on this one because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. At some point, he'll casually say, 
Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? Oh my god, you corporate types never cease to amuse me. Now I feel like I'm trapped in some kind of spy thriller B-movie. You'll find him in Sidonia, so I hope your ship's fueled. Just look for him above the Lux condos in the plaza. You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope he doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Don't cause any trouble. Well, that wasn't too bad for your introduction. What do you think of Ularu? sure all of our field operatives have shared that sentiment at one point. Bularu loves to remind people how expendable they can be. Let me know if you have any questions regarding your assignment. And enjoy your time in Sidonia. It's certainly no neon. For you? <laughs> no. Only Ularu calls me that. It's not up for negotiation. I worked with Simon a lot in my time as a field op. He's a perpetually grumpy man, but I think he just likes to keep his distance. Getting close to people isn't a luxury he can afford in his line of work. Much like ours. Days going. If only good thing worth talking about these days is sports. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. 
But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. Well, that's a bit of a steep price for the information. I think you're overreaching. Glad you see reason. As you may guess, being an informant is not without its risks. I've heard there's a merc in Saturn's orbit who'd like to cross my name off her list. Eli Liskova. If you take her out and bring me her gun as proof, I'll consider my fee to be waived. She's a freelance mercenary, used to work for Inception Technologies. But she likes her independence, so she went into business for herself. She specializes in killing for the right price. So before you get any second thoughts, you should think of it as doing the settled systems a favor. Now wait a moment. I don't believe murdering bounty hunters was included with the corporate job description. Hmm. You're doing me a tremendous favor. Just know she won't go down easily, so be prepared. Malai's ship is called the Detura, and like I said, you can find her in orbit around Saturn. Just remember to bring the gun back as proof.
quest, Simon managed to find someone with guts to come after me. I suppose it shouldn't surprise me that he wants Ember as proof of this. He knows I'd never part with her. Ah, the first time Ember and I met, she was pointed right at me. And then backfired on the gloating bastard who thought he'd won. <laughs> oh, she saved my life more times than I care to remember. In my line of work, we're always in and out of the fire, if you know what I mean. Oh, will you? You really think I'd let you just waltz onto my ship and I'd hand her over? If you knew anything about me, you'd know honesty isn't my strong suit. The only truth here is that I've intended to kill you since the moment you set foot on my ship. I'm pretty sure I've already made up my mind. True, I'd hate to misjudge. Okay, fine. You've compelled me to hold up my end of the deal after all. You get Ember, I'll disappear. Besides, I like to think of this as just a temporary arrangement. She's always found her way back to me before. Why should this time be any different? Either that, or you decided to pay up. So, that lying she-devil finally got what's coming to her. I've been looking over my shoulder for the past five years now, just wondering when she'd show up to put a bullet in my chest. I 
haven't given it much thought. The truth is, I never thought I'd see it. <laughs> the only thing I know for sure is that I'm sure as hell not going to use it. The world without Malayoskova. It's strange. Um, I always imagined I'd be happy knowing she's gone. Perhaps I've been running so long now that it will just take time for the relief to set in. <laughs> hmm. You know, why don't you keep that gun of hers? I think it's time I left the past behind. Let's hope you're right. Now, back to business. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Best guess is it has something to do with Infinity getting into the NeuroM business. Stanley McMillan seemed to think Ryujin would be the one company threatened by this news. So their entry must involve something big. Oh, they will.
business trip to Neon next time. took longer than expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. <laughs> Project Dominion? That can't be right. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see. Got the key, deciphering, and done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. Project Dominion isn't an Infinity LTD prototype. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this.
is this about? Who is this? Oh, this is our latest junior operative. I sent him on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. We need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. Exactly. I want you to go see Dalton Fines, our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us.